when I was a teenager, I could see my dad having a hard time making steps or basically limping. And eventually we got a diagnosis for his condition, which is a form of genetic muscle disease. When I watched my dad get worse and worse every day, get wheelchair bound, that has been always what occupied my mind. There's got to be a way to fix this. Genetic muscle diseases are caused by mutations in specific genes. And we know that if we deliver a healthy copy of the gene that's broken based on animal studies, you can actually have therapeutic benefit. You can even reverse the symptoms. There's been these recent advances in genomic medicine that make it possible to go in and to correct uh, genetic mutations that can cause really devastating diseases. But the problem is how do you get that into an individual? How do you get that into a particular tissue, particular cell type in a way that's safe for patients? There are ongoing human clinical trials that use certain type of viruses called adeno-associated viruses or AAVs that are non-pathogenic viruses to deliver the genes into the body. But there's a major challenge with that. And that challenge is these viruses are mainly targeted to the liver tissue, not to the muscle. In these human gene therapies, the main challenge is the requirement for injecting an enormously high dose of virus. Injecting adult populations of patients is currently almost impossible to manufacture the amount of virus that is needed to inject those patients and also because of the toxicity issues that have been seen in the clinic, specifically liver toxicity and other serious adverse effects. What we have been trying to do is to develop a technology that enables us to engineer these viruses, evolve these viruses in a way that we can give them the instructions to go where they need to go. That has enabled us to identify not only a virus, but a family of viruses that are extremely potent and able to deliver transgenes into the muscle tissue. We have shown that these family of viruses, which we have named myo AAV class of viruses, are not only able to do that in mice, but also in non-human primates and in human cells in culture. We have also been able to show that we can inject 100 to 250 times lower dose of virus to animal models affected by genetic muscle diseases and have dramatic therapeutic efficacy. Having this vector system that allows very robust and very potent delivery to muscle at much lower doses actually improves the safety profile of that kind of gene therapy approach for muscle disease. This is obviously an army of work, like with uh, many, many different individuals who've been involved in this project, my mentors, you know, my colleagues, who have helped to basically work as a team to make sure that we reach the final goal that we're trying to achieve. We took it all the way through mechanism, all the way through tests in non-human primates. We're super excited about the next steps there. I can't wait for the day actually that the MyAV class of capsids get into clinic. We really were waiting for and in much need of more potent vectors for specific gene delivery to muscle to overcome these sorts of um, specificity concerns so we can test new hypotheses that we've not been able to test before with the system and we can advance clinical translational applications of targeting those cells uh, via this mechanism as well. During this whole time, basically, that life experience inspired me to not only think about my dad, but also families who are affected by genetic muscle disease, who are actually doing something about it and who are making significant contributions to developing potent therapies to be able to contribute to it even in a small way that has been really joyful and very exciting for me.